Hello and welcome to Low Fidelity. I'm Kevin Seal. This is a music game show. There's no way to study for this game because you've been studying for it your entire life. You use your own buzzer word to buzz in and there's no penalty for guessing. Tonight's musical guest are the Jilters and we will hear more from them later. Congratulations to our Play at Home Facebook champion this week, Bucky Swisher. Congratulations, Bucky. Fantastic job, well done. And let's meet our contestants. First up, Owen Bly. Welcome, Owen. Hi, thank you very much. Owen Bly has been the manager of the band Red Meat for the past quarter century. Fantastic oh, band, boy. Red Meat. Quarter Next century. year will mark his 40th anniversary of living in Oakland, California. He was born in New York City, though. And Owen also co-hosts a radio show on KWMR-FM up in West Marin County. It's called Highway of Heartaches, and he plays vintage honky-tonk and newer honky-tonk. His co-host on KWMR is the hillbilly of the hate, a.k.a. Smelly Kelly from Red Meat. Owen Bly, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's very Great good to have you here. Well, Owen, you're going to be playing against your natural rival, Parker T. Gibbs. Parker T. Gibbs once saw Bob Weir's nutsack at a barbecue. But, I mean, didn't everyone see Bob Weir's nutsack in the 80s with the tennis shorts? I mean, that was... You know, it's... I think a lot of people have. Bobby liked to wear his short shorts, and it was. we were fortunate enough to be at one of these backyard barbecues. And he had... I tell the story. He had all these women, these, these like, mountain girls surrounding him. It reminded me of Jabba the Hutt with Carrie the Fisher. Carrie, <laughs> Carrie the Fisher. Carrie the Fisher. <laughs> Carrie Fisher on her, on her leash. Like, women just draped around him. And um, my, an old friend of mine who's now departed, my friend Bob Johnson, his dad was Bob Johnston, who did all the Dylan records, blah, 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 and all those things. And they were like the Beverly Hillbillies living in Marin. We got invited to Bobby's house, and um, he was wearing his, his short Levi's with the pockets hanging out. And he sat down in front of us, and he crossed his legs. And my friend Bob just said, God damn it, Bobby, tuck in that bullfrog's throat. And uh, that's, when we all, that's when we all glanced downward, and there it was. Yep. Did you just refer to him as Bobby? That was that's what that's what people call Bob Weir's Bobby. Those are people who's okay. Well, you know, I, I call I call Robert De Niro Bobby when I see him. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know what the T in Parker T Gibbs stands for? Few people know this. Tiberius. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's trying to take me out of my fucking zone here, and it's not going <laughs> to. That's right. That's right. Ah, well, it's a pleasure to have you here, Parker T. Gibbs. It's a uh, pleasure to be here. Parker is also DJ Food Court, and he's vice president of the Independent Venue Alliance and executive producer of Light Rail Station, a music station out of Light Rail Studios. Uh, and he almost got fired once from a record label job for writing a letter to Spin Magazine about his horrible time with Glenn Danzig. Uh, I worked for Caroline Records as a rep, and part of my job was I had to drive the artists around I was really fortunate because it was like during the time we distributed Sub Pop and Discord, we had amazing labels. I did in stores with Nirvana. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're blowing up. Look for them to be touring soon. Um, but uh, I had to drive De Glenn Danzig around all the tower stores and, um, and rough trade and everything. And he was absolutely horrible. And I wrote a letter to Spin where they had talked about Glenn Dancing going to like, they had taken him to an amusement. And I wrote something about like, no matter if Glenn Dick Danzig ego is, is, isn't big enough to allow him to ride on a, a roller coaster because of his height and all this stuff. And the next call I got was from the president, Caroline Keith Woods, <laughs> going, what are you doing? He's our bread and butter. And I was really, really happy because I never had a letter to the editor published. So I was kind of like, I may get fired, but fuck, I'm in spin. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, did, did you ever see that video of uh, the guy in Northside Kings in like Phoenix, Arizona, just knocking Glenn Dan Danzig yeah, out yeah. backstage? But he was a clean was punch. A, yeah, he was just a horrible, horrible person. I mean, he hated his fans. He was just, you know, he did not appreciate my Honda Civic, which was not cool. And, not cool. and mm -hmm. you know, and I could still picture his little legs dangling on the seat. It was a, it was a great day. Mm -hmm. And Gina mm -hmm. Arnold, Gina Arnold, the writer, once told me that the, she saw she stood in line in Ralph's in L.A. behind Glenn Danzig, and he was buying a, a quart of skim milk and a chocolate bunny. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have, you ever, have you ever seen have, look up Glenn Danzig shopping list <laughs> some guy just reading off all these various items in Glenn Danzig's voice it's, it's the best yeah I'm going to always picture him now with a chocolate bunny <laughs> and, a and his little legs dangling over my civic seat yeah 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 mm -hmm. 
car sucks. Like Tiberius, this car sucks. The Civic? Well, Parker, Owen, I would like to introduce you both to our resident guitar slinger and five star co host, Christopher Fortier. Christopher. Hey, everybody. Hi, Chris. Uh, Hi, Chris. Excited. A little point of order uh, the last of my uh, audio engineering gigs that was canceled when the shutdown happened was actually Glenn Danzig doing an Elvis (laughs) tribute. Oh, it was supposed to be at Bimbo's, yeah. It was supposed to be at Bimbo's, exactly yeah. correct, yes. Um, and, uh, and a brief word about, uh, about the band Red Meat. I used to go see them a lot in the 90s, and I enjoyed it a great deal. And for whatever reason, there's one of their songs that has been forever emblazoned in my synapses that I can never forget. And sometimes I sing it whenever it's really hot, and it's the song that goes, I got my 12-inch three-speed oscillating fan. Sitting on the floor next to the divan, it's been there since the heat wave began. It's my 12 inch three speed oscillating fan. That's the big hit. I'll never leave my head. That's the oh, big hit. And Owen's not going to plug it, but this CD, um, this was recorded <laughs> Jack Sugar Shack down in Los Angeles back. When was it on? Like 1999 in March, 1999. And this is, this is so great. You guys, I, I cannot recommend it enough that red meat is, is San Francisco's premier. I mean, they're, to me, they're the best honky tonk band in the world. The in between yeah. some bands are on this. Oh, cool. and Smelly alone is great. Dave Alvin is in the audience on this thing. Um, you guys could get this probably tomorrow when I sell it at Amoeba. <laughs> so just uh, go pick it up. <laughs> All right, cool. We got. Uh, we got. Would that be Berkeley or San Francisco? We got shameless plugs out of the way. Uh, yeah. I got a couple of birthdays to deal with. Uh, Hazel Gardner, who does some of our incidental music. Uh, happy birthday to you. Uh, Philo Seal had a birthday this week. Uh, Philo Seal on Cat. Um, in musical birthdays of the week, we have uh, Luciano Pavarotti had a birthday this week. Um, John Lennon, who was in a somewhat famous group called the Beatles, uh, had a birthday this week. Sam Moore of Sam and Dave. Um, uh, Giuseppe Verdi had a birthday this week. And last point of order, please bow your heads. We lost the beautiful Eddie Van Halen this week, friends. Oh, Lordy. As a young guitar player, watching him and thinking, oh, I don't know anything about this instrument, was profoundly difficult and joyful. Ladies and gentlemen, brief moment of silence for Edward Van Halen. Awesome. Thanks for playing. I don't, I like Eddie Van Halen. I I ain't talking about love, but um, (laughs) I think love is rotten to the core. (laughs) Uh, and last point of order, uh, I need to know what your buzzer words are. Parker, what do you got for me for in terms of a buzzer word today? Mine is Proud Boys. No, my buzzer word is, <laughs> my buzzer word is pew pew. Pew pew. 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 That's quick. Right on. And Owen Bly, what will be your buzzer word for today? Ba, 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 brand. Yeah. Right on. Let's play a fun game. Oh, boy. Let's do it. First category is finish it. And it works like this. I start a lyric, you finish it. All right, here's the first one. The sun is beating down on my baseball hat. The air is getting hot. The beer is getting flat. Looking for a girl. I ran into a guy. (laughs) Ba, 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 Bran. Oh, and go. I don't give a shit because that guy is really fly. <laughs> Metrically, it works. <laughs> We're looking for a girl. I ran into a guy. Parker, you get a chance. I, you know, I can't, I cannot for the life of me figure out who it is. That's I okay. I a stroke. His name uh. was MCA. I said howdy. He said hi. Oh, uh, Paul Revere uh, by the Beastie Boys. Okay. I knew it was a Beastie Boys, so I just... Oh, yeah, God. so did I, actually. Have you guys ever had a game that ended up 0-0? Zero, zero? We have. <laughs> <laughs> with, nine, with nine fumbles and 21 punts? <laughs> yep. I'll measure time. I'll measure height. 
I'll calculate <laughs> my birthright. Good Lord, I'm big. I'm heading on. Man size, got my leather boots on. Got my girl, and she's a wow. That's PJ Harvey, I believe. Pew pew. That's Parker Gibbs. Um, um, for the <laughs> I can't remember for the life of me the next part of the lyric. Owen, do you want to try? My man's on TV selling sham wow. <laughs> I cast my iron knickers down. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, wait a minute, mister. I didn't even kiss her. Don't want no trouble with you. Pew pew. Oh, Parker, fuck. Damn it. Wait a minute, mister. I didn't even don't want no trouble with you. So that was, uh, 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 <laughs> bah, ask, bah, one, bah. ask one favor of you. Uh -huh. Won't you give me three steps? Give me three steps, mister. Yes. You didn't finish the lyric, though. God. Yep. I'm so I, I mad did, right now. I did the recording. That you guys couldn't hear it. It was a bad recording. No. From, from Leinard Skynard. Uh, give me three steps. Yes. Yes. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Next up. A smash of glass and the rumble of boots. An electric train and a ripped up phone booth. Paint splattered walls and the cry of a tomcat. Lights going out and a kick in the balls, I say. Bob, <laughs> Bob, that's entertainment that, by the jam. That is entertainment. That's entertainment by the jam. Yes, yes, yes. I'm really oh, upset right. I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Last one in the category, finish it. Leroy, boy, is that you? I thought your post <laughs> days were through. Parker Gibbs. That's uh, Leroy, boy, is that you? I thought this was day were through. Uh, we got to get you a woman. I'm trying to think what happens between that. Time. Does that count? We got to get you a woman, Todd Rundgren. Uh, consult with the judges. Oh, the days of you. Uh, no, no hear? lies. I'm trying to think what happens between that part. Mm -hmm. I can give you a little bit more. Okay. There you go. Okay. Sunken eyes and full of size. Tell no lies. You get wise. I tell you now, we're going to pull you through. Those something days are through. Oh, God. It's been a long day. I, that's OK. I'll just say OK. All right. We got to get you a woman, Todd Rundgren. Yes. Got to get you a woman, Todd. Yep, yep. All right. For our next category, I pass it to Christopher Fortier. Take it, Christopher. All right. Well, here we go. It's the time when I pull out my mighty SG. My goodness. And Look at that. Yeah, man. It's the, the SG Classic with the P90s. Very nice. That better be cranked to 10. <laughs> and uh, this is the segment that we call uh, Name That Tune. And we invented that. We invented Name That Tune. That was never <laughs> right. a show. Oh, no, no, absolutely not. Uh, we're going to have a special guest on the Name That Tune segment. I'm going to do the first one. The second one will be handled by our very good friend, Mr. Kevin Gersowitz. Um, But here's the first one. Uh, let me consult with my drummer. Um, the rules are, I play a song. As soon as you recognize it, you buzz in. Kevin calls on you, and there you go. That was Owen. Oh, you oh, yes. Owen by a hair. Yeah. The thoughts we think I never meet walking down the road. I must not think bad thoughts by X. That is correct. Yep. God damn it. Yes. I want to see the replay because I was there. That I wasn't sure about the chords, so I called John Doe to clarify. Nice. Oh, are you serious, really? Oh. I'm serious. Mm. And Did with that, Tangmore pick up? we bring on the lovely and talented Kevin Gersowitz for Oktoberfest. Welcome, Kevin Gersowitz. Bop, 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 Brad. This is Radio Clash. Yeah! Wow. Yes. Nicely done. Radio Clash. This, this is, is Radio Clash. Clash. Yep. <laughs> 
I may have had a stroke. Can, can we hear 30 seconds of that right now? Yeah, please. That'd be great. Yeah. add a lot to that song <laughs> absolutely bang yeah fantastic thank you god damn it Owen. The next one i will take the next one and it goes a little something like this hopefully um <laughs> parker uh, gibbs cinnamon girl by neil young yes cinnamon oh girl my god young. good one yes all right here we go here's the next one and one, two, three, four. Pew, 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 pew. Ah, Parker T. Gibbs. That is pavement range life. That is correct. Oh my goodness. Well done. Kevin Gersowitz, you are up. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Parker was in first. That is Squeeze Box by The Who. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Not mm -hmm. to put too fine a point on it. I get so excited when I call mine out. It's like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just like, I like looking at Kevin over here. It feels like we're like in some sort of erotic chat room. <laughs> some sort of a weird fetish that we have. <laughs> it's killing me. Yeah. You mean this isn't? Yeah. It's a back room. It's, room a, with it's armor. a little elf on a shelf. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, right. right. Uh, uh, mm. Ladies oh. and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, Kevin Gersowitz, it's been a pleasure having you. You've Thank seen you for having me. Yeah, you've seen Kevin Gersowitz's band B three B four on this very show as a musical guest. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And you're wonderful. Uh, thank you so much for doing it. I'll take on the last one. Uh, here goes. Here goes nothing. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't know who buzzed in first. Oh, trust me. It was me. I beat I beat Owen to this. And he's going to be so pissed. <laughs> I'm already over. pissed. Your hand did go up first, I must say. That is Buck Owens' Act Naturally. Oh, it is! Actually, Parker, that was Ringo Starr's version of Act Naturally. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was closer. I'm back here in the game. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. All right, fantastic. Well, that brings us to our musical guest. This week, our musical guest comes to us from Alameda, California. It is a band called The Jilters. Take it away. Woo! Sip. 
down one drink after another Watching the sun slip to the Caribbean Sea And acting as if neither is aware And neither of us actually cares For the other It's hard to let you go I know you were such a great catch We're so compatible And people say that we're a good match the Jilters. Excellent. Woo-hoo. Thank you for being our guest. You've seen Ethan Levitt from the Jilters on this show before. Uh, wonderful. Ethan, thank you. Jilters, thank you. That was great. Okay. Um, awesome. Now we're going to do a category that we haven't had on this show in many months. It's called What's My Name? And on What's My Name, I give you the Cassius Clay and you give me <laughs> Muhammad Ali. So, uh, you gotcha. the birth name of a musician that you know, and you will buzz in and tell me the, the name by which we know them better. Okay, here comes the first one. John Graham Mellor. Ba, 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 and Owen. Joe Strummer. Joe, Joe Strummer. Strummer is right. Yes. All right. I don't think I ever knew that. By three, but it's a close game. And Owen could easily come back to side this. Next one. John Namensen Dushak. I'll give you a hint. He didn't change his first name. John <laughs> Namensen Dushak. Uh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh. Uh, That'd be uh, John Doe. What? You're no, no kidding, started. really? Oh. Yep. Yep. All I right. I knew that. 
Adam Keith Horowitz. Popeye. Parker got in. Ad Rock. Yes. Of the Beastie Boys. <laughs> of the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanata. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is right. And with that, Christopher Fortier. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Chris, oh. <laughs> I have to uh, pull up a little background here. Hold on just a second. And there we are. Oh, my goodness gracious. So we're going to go with uh, Richard Hell, our good friend Richard Hell. The name of this segment is Blank Generation. Ooh. Uh, blank Generation. Uh, it's a lot like uh, Match Game, so I will pull out my Gene Rayburn microphone. <laughs> Excellent. Way too thick. It, it is, actually. It's supposed to be entirely smaller. Um, but uh, this is, uh, it's a real, it's, it's not an educational toy. Here's how it goes. Um, I'm going to give you a year and the name of today. It'll be a song. Uh, the name of a song from a t particular year. Oddly enough, they're all from the late 70s. Um, I'm going to leave one word blank and uh, buzz in and let me know when you know exactly what it is. Uh, so this is blank generation. Here it goes. 1979, Lost in the Blank. Ba, 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 and Supermarket. That is correct, sir. Oh, God damn it. All these goddamn Clash salt things. Lost in the Supermarket <laughs> by the Clash from the London Calling LP. Uh, right on. Uh, 19... 76. Gimme back my blank. And bullets. I... Parker, Parker was in first. Oh god damn it. Um the answer would be bullets. <laughs> Leonard Skinner. Skinner. Yep. Leonard Fine. Skinner, uh the fourth LP from Leonard Skinner. Give me back my bullets. Uh all right. 1977. Descent into the Woo -woo! Parker Bellstrom Radio Birdman. That's correct, sir. Uh, also 1977. Take this job and Woo -woo! blank it. Oh, Parker by a millimeter. You're kidding. This is gonna fuck this is gonna kill Owen. Take this job and shove it I by Owen's this. favorite artist ever, Johnny Paycheck. Yep. Look at the Jaeger just building. I look at him seething. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yep. 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 David Allen co-wrote that song, 1977. <laughs> 1977's Epic Records. When they presented him with his gold record, he took. A, they also presented him with a black Trans Am, and he took it. Said, "Nice car." Turned the key over and drove it right into CBS Records. Just smashed through there and then took off running. Oh. I wow. feel like I should give him that point just for that story. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, I, that story calls for a point. I feel like uh, judge says, yeah, extra point for Owen Bly. Yeah, yeah. Unless it comes down right to a tie, then forget it. <laughs> um, and uh, now I want to go full Gene Rayburn, and I want to say, Fanny Flag, maybe you're interested <laughs> in, uh, maybe. Talking this over with Mash's beloved Gary Burkhoff. <laughs> uh, um, 1975. However much I. Uh, bye, 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 um, booze. That is correct. <laughs> Lesser known track by The Who from The Who by Numbers. That is a great record. I've been listening to that record a lot lately. It's a good Not one. Enough. Man. <laughs> yeah. And the last one for today's blank generation. And uh, let us all bow our heads in prayer to the beautiful Richard Hell, the poet, the voidoid, and the television. Mr. Richard Hell, thank you so much, Richard Hell. We love you. Uh, last one for today. 1976, Love's in Need of Blank today. Uh, baby, pew, pew. 
Parker. Stevie Wonder loves in need of uh, oxygen. Just say oxygen. Loves in need of love today. I don't know. That is correct, sir. Is it correct? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. What? Yeah, loves in need, loves of, in love need of love today. Yeah. And that has life. been Blank Generation. Thank you so much. That was playing. fun. Yeah, from uh, from Kevin, me, all of the people in uh, involved in uh, the Love Fidelity game, and of course the great Gene Rayburn. Thank you for playing this. Uh, I'm so upset. Mm -hmm. Well, and that brings us to our final category: <laughs> Helter Shelter. <gasps> So Helter Shelter, uh, Chris Fortier has got this one. Take and you know what? It's uh, again, it's not a very educational toy. In 60 seconds, come up with every artist name or band name that begins with the letter M. The letter M. So it can be uh, artist name, First name or last name begins with the letter, letter M, or the name of the band begins with the letter M. The letter M. And Kevin, count us right on in. All right, the clock starts now. Holy crap, this is harder than it seems. And that is time. Pencils down. All right. Parker had the lead going into that. So let's start with Owen. Owen, what did you find in your 60 seconds of exploration? I messed up. I um, th That's really hard when you're under the gun like that. I went with we Morrissey. I went with Morrissey, Mutants, Mono Men, mm -hmm. Mr. Mister. Wow. Merv. Very nice. Massive Attack. Mm -hmm. Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Nice. Madness. Right. And the Mirth Makers, as in Happy Kind and the Mirth Makers. Oh, yeah. Hey. Tonight. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. nine. That's nine. I would suggest that Mr. Mister gets us two, actually. <laughs> it's Man. one band. I think it gets us oh, two. That's down ten. All right, Parker T. Gibbs, what have you? Misfits, Metallica, Joni Mitchell, nice. Motley, Motley Crue, yep. Night Oil, Molly Hatchet, Marillion, wow. Marillion, My Dad is Dead, Magnolias, Mom's Mabley, <laughs> yeah. Men at Work, Motorhead, Man, Manfred Man. <laughs> Chris Owens band Musk. <laughs> yeah. That's 16. That yeah. works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. And with that, Parker T. Gibbs <laughs> wins today's low fidelity. Congratulations. I hate that. I hate this. I hate it. Owen Bly, but thanks it... for playing. You did great, but Parker just came up with so much. So much good stuff. Uh, thank you both so much for playing. It was a you pleasure guys, having you. Pleasure. It really was fun um, to be here. And I, I can't thank you guys enough for doing this. It is a class operation. That's all I got to say. My Yelp review will reflect this. It's fantastic. Backstage, the backstage <laughs> goods are fantastic. Good, 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 good. You I got haven't had good bags? cocaine in years, and the little package they gave me, but I mean, the coke here is amazing. It's gotten it's, stronger. It's it, gotten stronger. It really <laughs> has. Yeah. It really Modern has. Technology. It's yeah. only a quarter gram, which sucks. Yeah. That match game was a lot better.
<laughs> just enough to make you mad. Right. 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 The good news is, is I know one of those people who, uh, who never figured out that cocaine sucks now. Um, and, uh, and so that's why the backstage Coke is great. Mm. Yeah. yeah there you go exactly. there you go uh the jilters thank you for being our musical guest thank you jilters kevin gersovitz thank you so much the best the best ah, kevin gersovitz in later hosen check out b3 b4 and hear him play that b3 amazingly well brilliant organist kevin gersovitz uh thank you to everyone who works on the show jay lee roger gardner jillian nash Hazel Gardner, happy birthday, Hazel Gardner. Uh, Kimo Ball, Christian Santos, Sheldon Ruth. Thank all of you uh, for making this so much fun. Uh, in the meantime, until next time, stay safe, stay home, keep it lo-fi. <laughs>